the year 2020 is done. And besides everything terrible that had happened, it was also a year in which AI technology developed strongly and entered more and more areas of our lives. But what will happen in 2021? Here are five bold predictions. Multiple self-driving companies will hit the open market. The market for self-driving cars becomes crowded. Basically every car manufacturer like Tesla, Toyota and Volkswagen is already invested in some kind of research. But there is more. Rumor has it that Apple wants to join the market as well and a self-driving iCar could change the whole industry. But Apple is not the only new player and two hyped companies could already hit the open market in 2021. Wimo, a subsidiary company of Alphabet, and Cruise, that was acquired by General Motors. It's no surprise that these startups get bought by large companies who want to force their way into the global vehicle market. And let's be honest, this is not an environment for a startup anymore. Developing a self-driving vehicle requires a lot of cash and a variety of experts that goes far beyond engineers and AI specialists. They need lawyers, lobbyists, and probably even some philosophers to deal with tricky ethical questions. And with so many large companies with endless financial power, I am sure that we will see multiple products entering the market very soon. The first one who can establish himself in the new market could be the one who dominates it for the years to come. Anyways, the race for the mobility of the future will definitely heat up in 2021. Chip companies will heavily invest in AI startups. With AI gaining momentum, hardware purpose-built for AI becomes also more relevant. Oftentimes, hardware is a bottleneck that prevents scientists from pushing their technology to its limits. A lot of applications already run on graphics cards because their multi-core architecture is better suited for AI calculations than the regular processors. But graphics cards are not designed for AI, they are just used as a workaround, so there is room for improvement. It's time for the large chip companies like AMD, Qualcomm and Nvidia to expand their operations and concentrate more on AI. Intel already made a huge 2 billion US dollar acquisition in 2019 when they bought Habana Labs. I think some of the other companies are likely to acquire other AI startups to keep pace. Politics will set guidelines for AI development and usage. Maybe it's a stretch because we didn't hear many politicians talk about AI. And I know AI was not one of the main priorities in 2020. But at some points every national government needs to address this in some way. New applications like self-driving cars and human-machine interfaces will hit the open market at some point and as it is today, guidelines and regulations for these new technologies are missing. Who is responsible for a self-driving car? How should a self-driving car react in case of an emergency? Is it ethically correct to link a human brain to an AI? These are very important questions and it's important to talk about them soon. In addition, AI could lead to substantial changes in the economy that will impact our society. There's already the desire for an unconditional income founded by the workforce of AI and robotics. I don't see anything like this happen in 2021, but it's important that governments align on national strategies for AI to ensure that they are prepared for the future. Large pharma companies will invest in AI startups. If we learned one thing in 2020, then it's that what we need to stop a global pandemic indefinitely is a fast discovery of a vaccine. And although I think that the global players in this industry did everything possible to get this done as fast as possible, AI could provide solutions to speed up this process. AI did already pretty well in biology and a limiting factor for drug discovery is oftentimes simply time because a large number of configurations needs to be tested. If AI can reduce the number of experiments by predicting the outcome, this could speed up things very much. The most convenient way for large pharma companies would be to acquire small startups that are already established in this field of research. And there are a lot of these, even if they are quite unknown to the public. First Trillion Parameter NLP It's maybe not a bold statement considering the recent developments, but I think we will get a natural language processing AI with more than 1 trillion parameters very soon. And I'm pretty sure I already know the name of it. After GPT-2, 
in 2019 had 1.5 billion parameters and GPT-3 had 175 billion this year, we might even get a larger one in GPT-4 next year. And I'm not sure if OpenAI can keep the pace up and make it 100 times larger, but even 10 times larger would put the next iteration above the 1 trillion parameter barrier. Well, these are my predictions for 2021. What do you think about it? Thank you for watching. See you all next time.